Hi guys, Peggy Girl and me, Austin from Boyd Heart. Today I'm going to share to you my experience on Star Wars Black Series 3G quarter inch Captain Cushion and the figure by Hasbro. So let's take a look at the packaging first. Again, okay, it's a standard uh, Black Series packaging. Okay, and with the box kind of packaging and then uh, the face of Mr. Cash and Andrew here, over here. Okay. So, a bit of the bio at the back. Okay, lettering, lettering, etc. And the, let, okay, the background at the back. Something to know that is very respected. Uh, Master of Intelligence. Blah, blah, blah. And he works, he's striving to work under pressure. Okay. So that's how good he is, basically, to the rebellion, right? Well, he's been with them since he was six, so... You should expect more, right? So here's the figure. Alright. Um, so as you can see, he's basically the smaller version of the six-inch version, okay? The mold is very similar. Yeah, I think even the, the weapon is very similar as well, it's just smaller. Alright, so let's take a closer look at the figure. Alright, let's take a look at him. Now, let's take a look at the face. Right. So, always whenever I came to this kind of figure, by this kind, which is, uh, I mean that, uh, the figure which shows the face of the character I always check the you know all the features in the face especially the eyes and over here as you can see the eyes is not it's not the best right but it still works I think so no like I, I mentioned to you earlier that sometimes I have to fix it myself you know to make the you know the part of the eyes painted evenly as you can see here, it seems that this 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 pain app on the eyes is a bit uh, lean toward the right side, the right side of my hand, right? Whereas this one is more balanced. So, uh, it's a bit off, but I think it's still okay if you tilt the head over like this, then it still works. So okay, sometimes you have to compromise a bit. Oh, well, I can always fix it later. And then, just want to mention to you that uh, this part of the paint, which is the inner part of the hair, is, is okay now, but actually, actually I did a bit of fixing there, because it wasn't painted properly. So, uh, the same with the other side, I did a bit of the inside part of the hair, because it's black, so I just put another black to mask it, uh, to mask it okay. And then another thing that uh, bugs me a bit is the, uh, you know, the, be the beard, right? See this part? I'm not sure if it is meant to be like this, if it is intentional by Hasbro to do this. Um, well, granted that you can, maybe not everyone has, you know, evenly spread breed, uh, beard in real life, so... Uh, I don't know what to say, but uh, well, if it is intentional, then it's okay. But if it is not, then that's that's a bit of QC problem as well over there, right? So if you have the luxury of time, uh, please do pick pick your figure. You know, pick pick your best figure possible if you can. It's just my advice. Well, I don't have the luxury to do that here. I don't have. Uh, where, where I stay, I don't have Walmart, but maybe where you stay, you can just have the luxury to do it. Uh, so the hair is painted nicely, uh, the top and the back, the scalp is really nice as well. Uh, it somewhat really captures the look of Cushion um, under you know, Diego Luna on the movie. So that's that's good enough for me, alright? And then the... 
All right, I mean the body part. I always, I always dig this kind of, you know, leather jacket, kind of uh, uniform. So that's really cool. Uh, I like the detailing always, you know, the paint, right? Painted nicely to show a very leathery look, right? With all the wrinkles here, here and there. Uh, so I, I really like it, and then it is removable. I uh, like jeans fast. It's removable, but I don't see the point why to do that because uh, it is in fact part is you know is uh, like one third part of the jacket. You know, this is one one third one third, and this is another part. Uh, well, not not really. Maybe two third part of the jacket. And I don't see the point why you want to do this. But uh, just take it off for the sake of this video, show it to you. So I do like, you know, uh, the way it is being folded here, it's molded with all the wrinkles on the inner clothes. So that's really good. Even at the back, you know, they still make it nicely, although it's, it will be covered the whole time. And I, I noticed that he actually has two kinds of belts, right? So the first one here on top uh, seems to be one, you know, one layer of belt there. And then uh, I, I'm not sure what it is, but it seems to be like, you know, uh, today's normal bullet, right? If you see, it seems to be like that. I'm not sure why, because I believe it's using a blaster in Star Wars, there's no, nothing such as, you know, a normal handgun in the Star Wars story, so I'm not really sure what it is, but it is sculpted there in a very detail, in a different kind of, you know, very distinct painting there, it's like metal painting. And another belt is on the um, lower part, it's actually attaches to his holster, and it's a working holster. Uh, so that's good, uh, and I really like the, the fact that it is a separate part, alright? So it will adjust according to the movement of the leg, so that's really good. Now if you notice that this part is actually taken off, right? Uh, unlike Jin's version which is small, which is molded to her, to her thigh, uh, let me show it to you, uh, I, I've been checking it for a while, it seems that it is molded. I don't dare to pull it away, but when I see Cassian's one, at first it was attached tightly to this hole. If you see, there's a hole there, right? And there's a peg there. It was attached very, very tight, tightly. Then you know, I started to, you know, complain about this figure. Uh, I, I, I was kind of missing, you know, uh, the old day Han Solo. You know, hanging holster just separate with this. Uh, I I do realize that they want to make it very realistic, but then I realized when I moved the leg while it was still attached on, uh, someday that this piece may may somewhat you know there will be stress stress mark on there. Someday it will break. And then after I have uh, I, I I pay more attention to it and I see it. I see in more detail and I realize that it can and uh, it seems to be on a separate piece that I tried to pull it away right and it's true that it's, it's, it's actually being given a pack then a, with a hole over there but one thing uh, that I want you to note is that uh, I realize after I pull this away right after I pull this away it's not easy to put it back. In fact, it cannot be put back uh, again, just like the original. You know, I tried, right? I tried to push it away, push, push it in, push it in, push it in. But it's just, it seems that it's just one uh, attaches properly, just like the original when I uh, first take it out from the packaging. So I, I'm not sure if it's meant to be uh, glued, right? But I, I do. Uh, feel grateful that it is can be detached. So, well, just 
just be careful when you do want to pull this away, right? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I like it this way. I prefer this way because it allows for more flexibility for the leg, uh, and you don't want to break anything, right? So, considering the fact that it is a pack, so I I, th I think I think that it is a separate part, right? And it's still working also anyway. So that's that's a really good part for me, right? And the the pants are sculpted nicely as well with all the details. You know, it's a cargo pen with the kind of cargo pants with the pockets, uh, side pockets and so, right? It's a military man after all. And then the boots, right? So it's really good, right? Nothing down there. Sometimes they put detail, but it's not here. All right, I'll put back the fast and I'll show you the articulation. All right, come on, come on, come on, Mr. Kashian. We are running out of time. We gotta do it very swiftly. Come on, come on. Uh, but yeah, I do like the video so far. And then while I'm doing this, I do want to say that it's all uh, it's similar to Jane that he's only being given uh, one one kind of accessory, which is the weapon itself. And right as you can see, I'm trying to attach this back again, but it's just not working anymore. Okay. I don't know why, uh, but so uh, at first it was really tight, so I I had the impression that maybe it was glued uh, at the very first, but oh well, as long as it is still working, and I'm fine with it, right? Okay, so for articulation, the head is on ball joint, so you can always like uh, you can always turn it around three sixty. Uh, nothing much upward, uh, nothing much downward as well. And then the arm is standard black series joint with the ball hinge on the arm, so you can always do uh, put it upward like this, and then you can turn it around 360. Uh, depending on what you want, you can adjust the hinge to do what you want, uh, right? And then the elbow is on yeah ball hinge joint as well so you can bend it this much you can turn it around right now the string of the wrist is on the swivel joint but it's also a small hinge a small swivel there as you can see there there's a small swivel which allows you to do this all right Okay, so that's good. Additional join is always always welcome. Whereas the one on the left wrist, also the same similar being put on this part, so you can do this, and you can do this as well. So that's good. Uh, but no, no crunch, but you can always turn it around three sixty on this part of the, of the torso right nothing on the waist uh, but it's okay and then on the leg is the now standard uh, black series to the quarries joints as well which actually derive from the sibling marvel legend uh, i think marvel legend or at least the marvel infinite though you know from the marvel line of figure they already have this uh, I think so, yeah. So that's a good improvement that Star Wars also have this joint. They have ball hinge here, so you can do front kicking, right? Uh, and then if you adjust it nicely as well, you can do a back kicking as well. So just make sure the hinge is facing this direction and you are all set. As you can see, the hinge is facing the front, so you can make the kick. And you can do the split if you want to like this right the same with this one uh it's like i said i'm, I'm very glad that it, it is detachable detachable i don't know <laughs> so you can adjust the leg movement freely like that as well on the on the right side and if if yours 
if your pack is working you can always put the pack back if you want to so that, but in my case I don't really care anymore okay uh, you can always turn it around on this part right there so swivel join there and then the knee can be bent uh, about 90 degrees a bit more there and then it's also on a ball hang joint so you can turn it around that's good okay the ankle oh you can do this movement as well uh, broke his leg by then and then the ankle you know swivel joint no rocker ankle but then you can also turn it have this side and downward okay that's a bit hindered by uh, the part the come on, come on, this part of the boot but otherwise it's still working so that's good enough okay again this is a bit all right so anyway I just want to show you the gun uh, remember it's still the three into one piece of weaponry you know um, so if you notice this is a com combined part of the gun uh, I'm not sure if it is the same with the movie where he adjusts like Kato say that he configure him his his gun uh, into a his blast into a low sorry into a long range mode sniping mode uh, to actually he wanted to kill Galen Urso at first right because he was ordered to do so so I'm not sure if this is the same seems to be the same uh, the same long range blaster I'm not really sure I have to check I'm sorry about it but uh, I have to say I'm, I'm quite impressed by this I'm not impressed I really like this kind of uh, accessories they give you the option to do uh, different kind of things so that's really good all right it's the same with Jane's version as well uh, not the same mold but it's different mold as you can see all right it's different mold I like this one's better. It's more like sniper rifle than this. It's more like this one is more like a machine submachine gun like that, right? And okay, it is also made of three parts. It consists of three parts. The first part is at the front there, so you can pop it off, right? This part at the front uh, with the scope up there, all right? And the middle part is the blaster always the small blaster and the back part okay so you can always uh, separate this into three parts depending on your need depending on what you want and i just want to say that this blaster maybe a customer's blaster of his is working i mean it can be put into the wall holster it is a working holster so that's really nice so you notice that the holster is quite big because it has to accommodate the whole gun anyway, right? So that's good that it is working. I have to rotate a bit. The belt, right? So that's good. And then the hand this time is very tight. You can hold the the trigger fingers on on the right hand, the right wrist, the right hand. You can put it nicely. You can put the trigger finger nicely, and it works really nice. Okay, I like this. I like working accessories, right? So uh, it's very meaningful to have this. Now you can always change it back to the long range configuration, or make it into submachine gun, right? By putting this. Uh, this is the front part and then attaches to the small blaster right make sure that this part is on top okay just push it in and it's really tight okay I like it this one these two parts is really tight uh, are really tight so they they will you know they hold really nicely but 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 fortunately the back part you see that the pack is 
awfully small, you know. Um, and the peg hole is awfully small as well. Uh, and if you put it only to combine the two gu the gun into into the bigger gun, that's fine. But problem came when you start trying to you know to put uh, to wear this whole gun with his two hands. You know you can always put it just with his right hand. But uh, once you start to put it on both hands like we always want to do, right? It does very hard to do. Oops. See the the back part tend to fall off easily then I mean uh, sometimes you just want to concentrate on and holding the gun with two hands, right? Uh, trying to meet up with with a best position and then you realize that the back part is not holding really tight there and then you just, just on the verge of popping it off so that's a bit frustrating because you wanted to get the best position I tried actually to put him on a sniping position but as you can see the joint on the right hand is being put uh, I don't think it is the right joint to put there. You know, I wish the the swivel is being put in down here. You know, to allow for so that this whole gun can bend downward, just like the dead trooper. I wish they do it like that, but that's not the case. Okay. Now, if you see uh, the joint here, yeah. If only the joint can be adjusted downward instead on the wrist and so it really it really will help you know if this will pull down uh, it will really help to allow for a sniping position whereas this joint uh, makes it hard to do a sniping Sniping position. So, at most, what I can do is to hold it just like a submachine gun, you know, just like this. Uh, because the wrist joint uh, that are being given it doesn't allow it. Maybe it's intentional as well. Maybe, it, maybe in fact, this is. This. Just a submachine gun, you know, a submachine gun equivalent of the blaster, you know. All right. So yes, you can do this kind of shooting position, but not a sniping position, just like Jin's version. Okay, and uh, you notice every time I do this, I make sure the the back part is still attached always, you know reattach it, reattach it uh, depending on you, if you prefer this position then maybe you put something to make it tighter or just or maybe just screw it on but I don't recommend it because you always want to put the blaster back sometimes you know uh, I, I think I prefer the, the small blasters to be put here to you know, oh, I mean it's there so it has to be used right uh, instead of having the pain of uh, adjusting this position again and again, all right. So, but uh, overall, it still works, all right. See this position is still it's okay. It's not the best shooting position, but it still works, all right. So let's measure him up. Just probably. 3.5665 inch tall. Yeah, I think roughly about that. So it's not, it's not very short, but it's not very tall either. Okay, 
And this is him compared to Juna, so the Alright. The couple couple. Alright. Um well Jin is always on the short side to everybody, so I think yeah, it's kind of expected, you know, and then compare him to the classic stormtrooper. Oh, he's not really short actually compared to him. So that's quite interesting. Then compare him to a dead trooper. Well, dead trooper is always taller than everybody at the moment. At least to the rest of the group one cast drop one crew, sorry. Well some of the guys are taller than him, surely. Remember the partisan, you know, one of the partisans, the guy which looks like uh, the white version of Wookie. And then this is compared to the Oh, okay. So it's kind of a small to the Normal stone to the uh, phys physics physicality, so it's not it's not too short actually, but about, about the same height here. And then well, compare him to the GI Joe figure, right? Always I always mention it, and GI Joe are generally taller because they are more into the four inch scale, right? And lastly. That's good that I have this beside me just now. It is a marvel. It's a bit crooked, but as you can see that uh, normally marvel is also on the GI Joe scaling, more for in scale. Right. That's a uh, installer always. Alright. So overall, I really like this figure. I do like the movie so much that I really hope that Hasbro will release the whole, at least the entire Rogue One uh, cruise into the Black Series 3D quarter inch. Maybe with the additional, some of the important characters such as, such as maybe Saul Guerrero, Director Krennic. I don't know if they're going to release more of Governor Tarkin or Darth Vader, that's a possible option as well. But at least the entire one uh, crew, you know, yeah, that's that's what what I hope they will they, what they will do in the future. Uh, the only downside is that the the weapon that you know I, I like the concept. It's the same with Jin's. Uh, three into one piece of sniper rifle. It is a good concept, but its execution is a bit weak, especially on this part, which is it then uh, it tends to pop off easily. And right? this one is okay. It's very tight and never bugs me. This part, but the back part here, uh, whenever you want to position him, that the wield is gone with both hands. It just you know, this tends to fall off, that's all. Um, do you like the fact that it is a separate piece? At least in my case, I managed to put this off. But since there's a pack there, I think there's a general consensus there. Uh, hopefully it's not glued. Yeah, hopefully it's not... Hopefully it is meant to be taken away like that. Right. So, that's really good. Other thing is very minor, just you know, like the pain on the eyes, the pain on the face, which can be fixed most of the time. So that's okay. But as long as playable, as long as still good, you know, pack with articulation, I'm, I'm okay with it. Right. So thank you for watching, guys. Hope you like it. I'm asking for a boy heart. Good luck. Yeah.